Hey guys, Trinae here, and it is Small Win Wednesday. So, you know what that means. We are celebrating all of the small wins of the week <laughs> with crafting supplies. I know, right? My favorite day of the week. Plus, you know, it's all about celebrating your accomplishments that, um, you know, lead to bigger goals, accomplishing bigger goals. But you have to start small and you have to reward yourself. So this, um, if this is your first time watching this like little mini series, I set this up as a token system for myself. So when I, um, when I accomplish different things, I get to buy myself craft supplies and that works for me, you know? And the sad part is if I don't accomplish something, then, you know, I don't. I don't get the uh, craft supplies, so it, it balances out. So this week I am actually celebrating a lot of things. One, it's the first um, week back in a new quarter for school for me, and I think I'm off to a good start. Uh, this should be my last quarter in school. Fingers crossed, hands praying <laughs> on you, it, like whatever sins you have for that. That's what I. That's where I am at this point. So this is my um. First week back this quarter, and um, over the break, I was able able to accomplish a lot of different things. Um, I had to resubmit something to the IRB board, and I had to um, start writing chapter four of my dissertation, and I started doing that, and I am getting ready to start um, doing the outline for chapter five and then hopefully I can submit all this stuff and get it done by the end of the year. That's like my ultimate goal for this year is to finish school because I am so over school. But on a personal note, um, goals that I uh, accomplished this week <clears throat> was I signed up for Weight Watchers. <laughs> Yay! I have uh, some pounds I need to get off of me, you know. And that's also going to be a mini series um, just about some of the different things that I am changing with my lifestyle and how I'm going to incorporate crafting into these different lifestyle changes. I plan on having it up, um, that video up, either later this week or next, early next week. So, yeah, that's on a personal note. On a Becoming Fab uh, note, I have been consistent with posting videos for like, I want to say two, three weeks now. So hands up, cause gal, I was having a hard time getting these videos posted. But you know, I'm back on schedule and I'm loving it. Like when I tell you I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So this month I purchased the Hip Kit Club um, October main kit. That was the only thing I purchased um, this month just because I've been kind of hitting the craft supplies kind of hard these last couple of weeks. And, you know, you have to balance things out because I'm not rich. <laughs> you know, we ain't got it like that. We on a budget. Crafting on a budget over here. <laughs> so, uh, I just got the main kit this month and... I didn't even look at it because I like I like having something to be surprised about. So I didn't even go through and see what was in it. I just let it, um, you know, I just let it charge me. And then I was like, I see what I get when I open it up. So we get to be surprised together, y'all. And I haven't watched any other videos because I avoid it like to play it because I don't want to see other folks stuff. I want to experience it firsthand. So let's move some of this stuff to the side, you know, getting the first glance. First glance, because I like to start looking at the papers first. I don't know why. I just like to start with the papers first. So, we have a black and, black and white, um, kind of like hand-drawn dots, which are really, really cute. I like that. And you can see, like, the different, um, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's like a subtle, uh, like, an undertone to this white in certain areas. I can see it when I hold it to the different sides. You can see it kind of like here. It's like a, a little piece of tape that they have. So that's really cool. Let's flip it over. And we have um, like some diagonal stripes, which is cool. And this is from Maggie, this is Maggie Holmes Gather Collection. Ooh, this is, I'm, I'm loving this. 
Um, so it's like a navy and a green. I love navy with green. Well, I love navy with green and I also love navy with fuchsia, but between those three, I love it. So this is so pretty. And I'm glad like the last couple of kits have had a lot of um, like navy colors in it. And I love navy. Like I'm good. I'm cool with like the lighter colors and stuff, but I really love like dark colors and like stuff that has like a moody feel to it. Like everything just can't be um, all light and airy all the time. You know, light and airy is cool, but I love like some weight to like the look. You, and you get a weight when you have like a darker looking paper. So I'm loving that. Um, so we have some like watercolor uh, dots and they kind of overlay each other. I really like this, this little pattern here, like this hand colored. It's like a hand drawn dots. They have I have a paper that was completely nothing but those dots and it was really pretty. So yeah. And I did that one. So we have florals, which I feel like you can never go wrong with florals. I love flowers. And then we have a hand drawn stripe, which is really nice. I like that. Um this kit contains a lot of watercolors. Um, I'm picking up a lot of different watercolors. Ooh, I love this. <laughs> now this I love. I like all the little buildings. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that. This is really neat. I like this. And this is from Dear Lizzie. And I forgot to say what the other ones was from. Let's see. This is this was also Dear Lizzie. And this was Dear Lizzie also. Okay, so. A dear Lizzie, a lot of dear Lizzie's. I love this though, and it is so cute. I love the little buildings, and then we have like um, some more little flowers, like in the meadow. But this, <laughs> I'm loving. This will make a cute little landscape um, layout, and I think I just got an idea for what I want to do with that one. So, yay! Ooh, and then we have some cut aparts. And this is really going to come in handy. And this is from Honey, I'm Home. Um, we are memory keepers. And this is really cute. I like this. I said I was going to start doing a, um, like, I guess like a, a scrapbook with our home. Like, just capturing our house. Not necessarily like us in the house but just like different elements of our house because i really think very soon within the next year or two we're going to be moving um we really want to downsize so we're probably looking at going into something that's probably like 900 square feet which is a little over which would be a little under half um what we're living in now so something probably like a one bedroom with the den we're also thinking about maybe getting an apartment i don't know it's, we've been living in the house so long that i don't know if we could i don't know how i feel about going back to renting but i do want to capture my house so i'll stay on point so this video won't be super long but yeah this is really cute it reminds me of like i don't know like um fortune cookies or something it's like a unique it's a unique little print it's cute. I don't know if this is supposed to be a bow or what, but I like it. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. So we have, um, I'm trying to think of what's the name of the shape. <laughs> I don't know my shapes. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six sides. So is that a heptagon? I don't know. Don't get me the line, but yeah, we have some shapes. <laughs> If it's not an octagon, I don't know it. <laughs> but yeah, and then we have some squares on this side. And this is really cute because it has like wood textures in there, like different woods. So yeah, that's really cute for adding some texture. This make a really masculine, um, like a really, you can make a really masculine layout, whether it's a scrapbook or a card. I can see that really working. That's really cool. And then we have more wood, which I love this. Like, I really love the, um, 
the papers that have like a wood finish. I really love wood grain. Like that's something that I really love. Like the texture of wood and the warmth. Really like it. So this is in different like patterns. So that's cute. And then over here we have a geometric print. Let's see. Yeah. And it's pink. Well, it's like a peach color. It's not really pink pink. So that's really cute. And we have another geometric print. This is cute. I like that. I can see cutting this up like along the lines and then like having some flat popping some up on like um, some foam tape at different dimensions that would make a really cool layout I might do that and then we have some fun little dots which you can't go wrong with dots it's like confetti and you know ooh arrows with gold foil so I said the house was my favorite so far, but I think this might be my favorite. I love arrows. I think it's um, like this, just I'm a Sagittarius and you know, we are um, centaurs and centaurs are good archers. So maybe that's my uh, fixation on arrows, but I love them. I love this. Oh, this is so pretty. And it's like a minty green. This is really nice. I love mint green and gold together. That's a pretty color combination. Pretty color combination. And more navy. Yes. I like this, y'all. Uh, and it would be two that I really like back to back. I hate when that happens. Don't y'all hate when that happens? Like, I really wish like the paper was single sided. I don't know. I could do something cool, like maybe fold it back and have both of them showing. Who knows? Alright, and next we have a floral print and it's over it's over like ledger paper and if you can see it in the background it's kind of pink. Let's see is it showing up? Mm, nope. <laughs> so you just have to take my word for it that it's back there in the background, which really makes it really makes this a really cute I don't know, just the um the florals with like the like when I think of those ledger papers, I think of like architects and like accountants or like like corporate America basically using those type of ledger papers. So that's really cute. And I like that the florals are muted and that they are gray. So that really, um, I don't know, it really adds some, I don't know, I don't want to say weight to it, but I don't know. I just really like it. So let's flip it over. And we have like an Aztec looking print, which is really cute. I like the green. I like the green and it matches. Okay, I can use it with that. Or you can also use it with that one. But there's another one I was thinking of. Yeah, it go really good with that. So I like that these papers, like the collection is made so that it really takes the like the thinking out of what matches. So it makes it easier, meaning you can play with your craft supplies longer and, not, you know, not think so much. So then we have, uh, this is Maggie Holmes Gather also. And it's just uh, a collection, I guess, of the papers from this particular line. So that's cute. You can cut these up in individual strips and kind of fake it. Like if you layer a photo, like over the strips part, you can almost fake like you have a full strip of paper or you can just use it as is and lastly we have a chevron on like a salmon color so this is really cute yeah and this also goes with that blue so y'all I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this kit and honestly this is the third time that um, I have purchased from this particular brand and I haven't I have no complaints so far and y'all know if I did I'll let you know because <laughs> I'm spending like legit I'm spending my own money this isn't sponsored or anything so I feel like I can say what I want <laughs> which I ain't gonna lie y'all like I did sponsor videos in the past well I did sponsor blog posts in the past and I stopped doing it because like me and a, a, a sponsor kind of went back and forth they sent me some products I thought it was crap 
you know, I wrote them back like, look, this is how I feel about it. This, if I post it, this is what I'm posting. And they was like, well, you can send it back and um, to pay for the cost of shipping. And I'm like, nah, brah, <laughs> it's not going down like that at all. So that's why I don't really do like paid sponsorships. Like I really cut, pretty much cut that out. Um, not to say I wouldn't do it again. I just learned to be more selective of it. But yeah, that's off on a tangent. Let's get back to this. So these are from the Take Me Away collection. And uh, I think this is, what is this? I think this is uh, Pink Paisley. Because I have this. I actually purchased this on my own. Because <laughs> I really like that collection. And so now I have two. Which you can always have a lot, right? And these are really cute. Like keeping it real. So that's how we gonna tie in that story I just told. Cause I was keeping it real. You gotta say it like that too. <laughs> All right, so ooh, these are pretty. I really like these. So these are Hip Kit Clubs exclusive, manufactured by Pink Fresh Studios. And y'all, these are so cute. Pink Fresh Studios has really been stepping it up. Like, this is their year to shine. Because, like, the Indigo Hills, which, here's something from the Indigo Hills collection. Like, I bought this paper pad. Um, I purchased it on my own. I received some of the products from last month, Hip Kit. And then, um, I got the first set of papers back in June from Simon Said Stamp Kit. And y'all, like, for real... This line is like, I think this might be my favorite all over line this whole year. This Indigo Hills, perfect. Like this is the line I actually used to make my wedding album. So if you haven't seen that video, it's, um, I'll, I'll, you know, link it. But yeah, this line is so beautiful. Love it. So these are rubber charms, which this is fun. I've never worked with, um, rubber charms before so yeah I gotta take this out I gotta touch this <laughs> so let's see are they supposed to stay sticky I don't think so because it it comes with like I think they just use that to stick it on so I guess you um, just use your own glue and stick it on but these are really cute has one um, work play rest keep it simple my motto <laughs> Nothing better than spending time with you. Hello today, love, and this one. So these are really cute. I love the texture of them. These are really cute. So yay for that. All right, now let's open this up. We have some veneer shapes. And these are really pretty. These are by We Are Memory Keepers and it's the Honey I'm Home collection which is so cute and like I'm I, I'm not gonna lie y'all I just had to sniff it I don't know why <laughs> I got a thing like when I get wood stuff I have to sniff it but yeah it's not really smell all that good <laughs> it smell like whatever the um like whatever the sealant is that they put over it you can't really smell the wood but these are so cute let's move this out the way so it's not these are so cute. The little clothesline. So yeah. This is gonna make like you know, I was saying I want to start doing an album to like document this house because I really want to do it mainly because I was thinking about like um the house that I grew up in, my grandmother's house. And um my grandmother, you know, she lived with us. She kinda helped raise me. Well, actually, we lived with her. <laughs> it was her house. And um, I have, I don't have that many pictures of just, like, us being in the house or, like, just pictures of the house or the decoration. We didn't really, we don't really have, I don't have anything to, like, look at and think back on. So, I really want that because that was, like, the one place that really always felt like home. And so, I just like this house and like all the other things, other houses and like my parents' house now, like I try to document it just so, you know, sometimes you want to look back and have those memories. So yeah, this is what I plan on doing with that. 
And um, I like these pieces. Enjoy life. We are better together. But this is my favorite. <laughs> and honestly, to be truthfully honest with you guys, my grandmother's house was kind of made like this. Except for it didn't have like the double parts here. It just had like a single part. And it was white. But it had like this very basic, you know, like the kind of houses that you would draw out. It wasn't anything like super fancy. But it kind of reminded me of that. So yeah, that is this. So oh, this is so cute. So let's put these I'll put these back in here for now. Until I can get them in. You know, I like to keep my stuff in like little sleeves. So I'm gonna take this container out and just put it in the sleeve. In a moment it just helps now let's open up this one and these are die cut shapes see yeah when I say this this kit gives you like a, a good supply like you really can scrapbook with this like I tried some other kits in the past and they were just kind of like blah <laughs> for scrapbooking so right now the two really the only two I buy from right now is hip kit club and simon says stamp card kit and the only two subscription service i have and i'm like beyond satisfied with the two of them so i kind of alternate uh between which ones i'm gonna buy real pass <laughs> this remind me of those old like if you're from atlanta this looks just like the old martyr cards like they got this new thing now called breeze card but before they used to have a martyr card <laughs> when I was in middle school, I used to have to catch the um, like public transportation home because I, I was bussed out to a school that wasn't in my district. So <laughs> what we would do, it would be a group of us, and like my mom would always buy me a monthly model card. So it was some other kids, and y'all, this kind of ratchet, I ain't going to lie. But I would like get on the bus and like slide my little card and like back then you could slide the card as much as you wanted to. Not all the technology they have now. But we would slide the card and then act like we was putting it in our back pocket and then the person behind you would grab the card. Like like I said, it was so rich. <laughs> but that's one of the things that we did. I probably shouldn't have shared that story. That's really it's actually really stealing from public transportation. But yeah. And I, I used to make like little money because I'd be like look if you, you can, I can slide you back my card for like 75 cent you give me the 75 cent and like I would get money for, to buy like candy and stuff like that <laughs> like I've always been like let me figure out a way to get this money <laughs> so those are my middle school hustles all right so keep going so you have a, a ticket some more tickets donuts mmm yum they have donuts, pretzels, cheeseburger, basically all the stuff I can't eat right now, <laughs> except for the burger. The number eight, which is cool, live free, and this is like a little tag and the camera, do over, because you know, got to have those in life. Another ticket, uh, I'm not sure what this is, I guess you could use this for the date. Because it has like Monday through um, Sunday through Saturday down here. Maybe you can use it. Like I don't know what that is. That one, that one got me. So a stamp, a backpack, another backpack, beach balls. Huh, that's cute. Like the paint swatches from the stores, and like a little map, a globe. Nope, constellation. I'll get it right eventually. So this is cute. You can see like it has the little stars with the different um, like constellations. So yeah, that's cool. And it has like a little bag, a tag, some cute little sun, well, eyeglasses, some scallops, collect beautiful moments. So that's really cute. Like a starburst keyword. A record player yes you guys know how I love my records <laughs> like I did, I did a whole scrapbook layout about the latest album I bought which was um, the stadium Arcadium album 
And y'all, when I tell y'all, I've been listening to that thing like I ain't never heard that album before in my life. I love it. So yeah, and then we have, this is like a print from, it looks like the dictionary, like those old dictionaries. And then it has the word happy um, foiled across it. A little umbrella, something that just says five cents. Taxi, special delivery, more tickets, a lot of tickets with this one. Um, the number seven on a card, a soul sticker. <laughs> These are old school right there. Hold, and like a little notebook, and the word yes, scribbled on a card or something. So I also have the numbers four and five, and what is this, if I can get it over. Y'all, I need to get my nails done. Like, it's so time for my nails to get cut. I never let my nails grow out this long because I can't pick up anything hardly. So, yeah, that is this month's kit. Can we say yes? How beautiful it is. Like, I really love this one. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, don't hit it, you know. No pressure. <laughs> Um, go ahead and subscribe if you want to catch out more of my videos. I post about three times a week and uh, it's always something new um, going on with me and I talk about it. And I also have weekly craft talks which is to help us use crafting to um, be more mindful and productive and just to help us grow more person as people so yeah that's today's video um i'll catch you guys friday bye